Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Karen and I are out here at Great Lakes Dragaway uh, for the first time this season with the hatch, with the EG. Uh, not with the new hatch, you but with the EG hatch. hatch. I know I have two hatches now. So here it is, 370 horsepower to the wheels, bone stock, uh, internal GSR, and uh, limited slip diff. GSR gear set, LS final drive. We are going to uh, get lined up right now and make our first test pass. I'm really not pushing hard today. I drove the car here, so I'm rolling off the line and then basically just doing a pull for a quarter mile and just trying to see what I can get. Consider today like a baseline day. I'm gonna go as fast as I can, as safely as I can, and every time we come back after today, we are gonna be trying to go faster. So we are basically just setting the bar today, boys. Here's the EG. Looking good. You guys haven't seen it with the bumper on yet, so bumper's on. Got a good little hole cut for, uh, for the exhaust. Nothing fancy just yet. I'm gonna do some stuff to clean up the bumper a little bit uh, later on. It is purely function over form, and uh, we're gonna get out there and make our first pass right now. I'm excited. Check out the link in the description down below for the merch. Support the hustle, www.blownmotorclub.com. Let's do it, boys. Mark said, okay, I'm leaving to come up there now. Oh my gosh. Here it goes. So again guys, pulling up to the line here. We are on street tires, we're on Falcon RT660s. More of a track tire, but uh, again, we are just setting a baseline today. We come back with slicks, should see an improvement from today. It's gonna be fun to watch the numbers climb up. Okay, this is my first pass in like a year, so not gonna do it I'm just gonna roll it on the first one. Okay. Thank right. relatively quickly for being on street tires. I really wonder what I ran. That felt great, guys. <laughs> I hope it's in the 12. And if it wasn't, we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> oh my God, that was slow. Yeah, that was slow, guys. I went slow. At 111, dude. What is that? So, first pass, not... Uh, not too excited about the result. I really thought that it was gonna be a good time. I nailed all the shifts. Uh, I'm sure I could have, there was definitely a little room for improvement, but for the most part, I really felt I did well uh, nailing the shifts on that run. I think it all is gonna come down to, at this point, it's so hot out, you know? Uh, at this point, I think it's gonna come down to trying to get off the line as fast as I possibly can. Uh, and I don't think the top speed is gonna be my friend today because we are probably down on a little bit of boost due to the heat today. It's just obnoxiously hot. Uh, also, I think once it gets a little bit later in the night, it gets a little cooler outside, I think we'll be in much better shape, a little bit more boost, and maybe just enough to get us into that 12 second quarter mile mark. We'll see. All right guys, getting ready to make the second pass of the day. I'm gonna try to hold a little bit higher RPM at the line. I'm gonna hold the e-brake a little bit more. I'm going to really load up the clutch a little bit more and uh, hopefully get off of it a bit sooner. Uh, cut that 60 foot time down and see just how low into the 13s we can get for just a second pass. And again, it's still very hot out, so.
put too much load on the clutch. Uh, box the start. That sucks. It is what it is. We'll work it out on the next one. I suck at this, guys. I, no, by no means do I think I'm good at this, just so you know. I just want you all to know that I know that I'm bad at this. And I'm just doing my best. I'm going again. I'm just going to go. I mean, okay, so I obviously botched the launch. Holy that. It's so fuck, bad, dude. I mean, I, I like almost. Wait, your, your 60 foot was straight. <laughs> Go line up again, dude. Kill yeah, me. yeah. Don't even look at that. Time. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, that one. We're just you, gonna you're gonna have to hop out. He told me to line up again. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you guys might have just noticed that the car broke up pretty hard right there. Uh, I just completely lost all power while going down the drag strip. It, I just seriously like everything just cut out. I was hitting the throttle pedal and I, I honestly thought that the motor blew up. I got really scared. I thought I blew the engine on that pass. Uh, but we are going to head back to the pits and we find out that the distributor was not plugged in all the way. So we plugged it back in and went right back out. Here we go, boys. At least he's finally got a time down. I've been plagued with this issue of my axle popping out of my transmission on the passenger side since before I rebuilt the trans with Mark. WaveTrack says that you need to use OEM axles in the differentials, so that's what I'm gonna try next because it keeps popping out of me and it is a pain in the ass. First pass of the day. Best pass. 90 degrees outside. I know. Dude. I ran a 14. One on that last one at 112. So mile an hour was mile an hour was faster, but time was slower. Hey, question for you. I was just in that white Civic. Do you say that I like if I fix it, I can go back out or? Uh, yeah, if you're fixing, you go back out. Oh, cool. Just don't want you like, on the track. Everything like on the track. We gotta go down for a while and clean it. For sure. And then someone can get hurt. It's actually really slow. Okay. Well, cool. Uh, my axle was just doing a little thing and got it all sorted. So I'll I'll just wipe it up. I think it was just residual over there. I'll, I'll try. I'll try and give it one more pass. If it's an issue again, then I'll just call it. They told me I was leaking fluid, so 
I, I can't go back out until I fix that, I guess. I think they just saw residual from before I popped the axle back in. I think it just dripped on the track while I was waiting for like an hour to make a pass. So I just popped the axle back in. I'm gonna wipe down the uh, subframe and make sure it's good. I jacked up the car, I wiped off the subframe, I wiped off the trans, uh, everything's clean, axle is in place, so we're gonna go try to make another pass and uh, see if the axle stays in. And let's let's see what we can do here, boys. Hopefully the track's a little hotter now, hopefully we got a little grip. Let's try it out. Like 
bummed out and nervous earlier, but honestly, I'm at least proud that we came out here and uh, you know, I, I tried my best. I, I learned throughout the night. I got a little better as time went. Not that the car got faster, but I feel like I got more confident at least. And even though my driving technique might not have, you know, improved massively, um, my demeanor did. And that I'm happy about. The best time of the night or day was 13.6 at 111 miles an hour. That was really early on when the track was really hot. So I guess we weren't really down on too much power because I was actually gripping then and I was able to get up to speed. But now that it's cooled down, I think I'm not gripping. It's definitely, it's definitely me. I'm, I'm making excuses, but it's only me. I just need to get better. I need to improve the car. And uh, we're gonna come back out next time with uh, making some changes and, and it's gonna be way better, guys.